you're looking for your first data analyst jobs, projects are something that you should definitely consider. They are a great way to communicate the application of all of the data analyst skills that you've built throughout your learning journey, whether that's through a degree or self-taught or some other way. But not every data analyst project is created equal. So let's look at five qualities of good data analyst projects that get jobs. I'm Jen. I've worked in analytics for over 15 years with hands-on analytics experience and managing teams of analysts for most of that time. I want to demystify analytics skills and careers so people can get jobs that they really enjoy. If you clicked on this video expecting one single project recommendation that will definitely get you hired, I'm not going to give that to you because there isn't one single project that would get everybody hired as a data analyst. It's just not logical. If there was one single project, we would just all be going and pulling a version of it from someone that's already published it somewhere. So that is something to consider as you think about projects. It can be helpful to have some more unique projects that speak to your application of skills rather than something that was easy for you to just go pull from someone else. It's also worth considering whether you need to do projects at all to get into a data analyst job or especially if you want to transition into your next data analyst job. If you're moving from a field or a role where you could use a lot of analytics in your job, you may be better off not doing projects and just using that experience you have and speaking to it rather than treating it as you're completely starting over. And if you're talking about transitioning jobs, it would be fairly rare to have a portfolio of work that you would share with a potential employer around the analytics space unless you were trying to show off new skills that you didn't use in that last job. Think about it from a practical perspective. I cannot not take information and reports and analysis and dashboards, whatever type of analytics work I did for a previous employer, I can't take that and go show a new employer. That's proprietary company property. That's information that, that I am not allowed to share that would just not be ethical to share. So it's not as though when you step from job to job, you're typically going to have a portfolio. Where it is important is that you're able to talk about those data analyst projects that you did, the work that you did as a data analyst and how that impacted the company. Let's look at that a little bit more and what that means for the five tips for a good data analyst project. You might be thinking, I've built the skills, I'll just toss them on my resume as a list of skills. And some people do this. It's okay to have a list of skills, though it's not what I would typically recommend. But regardless of whether you have a list of skills, you also need to show that you've used those skills. Here are five characteristics of really good data analyst projects that will help you get a job. Number one, they have a specific objective. A lot of analyst projects, especially in the learning environment, are exploratory. What can you learn from this data set? Or sometimes they're very specific. What can I find out about this specific subset of information? If you think about how you'll work in a data analyst job, you'll be solving specific problems. There may be times where you go out and do exploratory analysis, and that can be a good place to start, but ultimately, how can you frame up the project you're doing in terms of a specific business goal, something that a business might want to know? Maybe it's how are sales affected by seasons or affected by different events throughout the year? That's something a business might actually want to know. What's the, their sales cycle like? Rather than just what can I learn about it or telling me there is a sales cycle, that doesn't really help me as much as explaining why that that there is one and what does it look like. So have a specific objective. That overlaps it a bit with my second piece of advice, which is tie your objective to a business goal. So if we take that sales example, we might look at a project that reflects when do we need to put more effort into our marketing to ramp up sales? Do we want to focus on things when sales are down or do we want to run more sales when people are actually buying more? They're already primed to buy for different reasons. Projects that can relate to specific goals are going to be easier for businesses, hiring managers, interviewers to relate to. And that's going to be really helpful when you get into the interview phase, when they start asking you more about how you would handle different situations or if you've run into different scenarios in the past. You can talk about it more as a story versus I went out to see what I could find in the data and here's what I found. That's not around a specific business problem. 
your project ultimately should help enable some sort of decision to be made based on the results. Sometimes that's going to be a decision to change nothing. Sometimes it's going to reorganize what the, the future looks like, or maybe it's monitoring, maybe it's changing direction entirely. The outcome can be very different, but ultimately it's about decisions. The third tip for projects is showing confidence in the tech stack that you've chosen. As a data analyst, you have a wide variety of different tools that you can choose from. There are certainly some that are more common than others that I would start with focusing on if I was new breaking into it. So I would look at SQL skills, I would look at a data visualization tool, and those are ones that I would highlight in different projects. I would have some different projects that show that I can use those skills, that I can apply that knowledge, and again, apply that knowledge to solve a business problem. If you're going to be highlighting skills, and this is where focusing on a narrow set of skills with more depth is helpful, then having projects around them that you can also speak to in interviews is a really big asset of your project portfolio as a data analyst. The fourth criteria of a good data analyst project is they communicate results. Possibly they also communicate recommendations. It's great that you've gone through and done your analysis. What did you find? What's the takeaway that someone should have from this? Sometimes you're just going to be doing things like showing trends. Sometimes you might wanna have more of a summary statement. When I think about it from a resume perspective and an interview perspective, you wanna be able to summarize, regardless of the type of analysis you did, what your findings were. So it's great if you created a dashboard, it's great if you did another analysis. If you had to put it into a sentence or two, the takeaway from that analysis, when you're describing it to me and I'm interviewing you, how would you summarize that? That's a great way to put it onto your resume. And it helps prepare you for interviews, which are going to be a part of the process if you're gonna get a job. It's not just getting into the interview, it's also having a good interview, being able to speak to those projects you've done. What did you find? What did you learn? What action could somebody take based off of this? Did you find that you didn't learn anything anything from it and that the different variables that you analyzed were not meaningful. Those are, are fine conclusions to have. I would say you wouldn't want every project to lead to that conclusion. You'd want to find some projects that actually have takeaways, but ultimately it's being able to communicate those findings that are really where the power is. And this is something that will carry through out your career. So regardless of whether it's your first data analyst job or your 10th data analyst job, or you're changing different positions in between, being able to explain the outcome and the results, the finding, the action that can be taken ultimately is the, the largest part of the interview process to find those next jobs to get hired into that next role. As my fifth tip, I'm looping back to what I mentioned earlier. Good projects are unique. You don't want the same project that everybody else has because then it doesn't really speak to you knowing how to do it. Maybe it speaks to you were able to read somebody's write up on their analysis, that you copied their code, that you built their dashboard. But ultimately, if you have a more unique project, you're running into more of what you'll actually experience day to day as a data analyst. You'll probably run into some data that's dirty or missing that needs clean. You might have to organize data in different ways. You might have to go find additional data sources to supplement the information you have. And the findings you share are unique. This doesn't mean that your project needs to be something nobody else could ever think of, but if you're using training data sets that or projects that you see that hundreds of thousands of other people have used, that's not the ideal project. It doesn't tell me much as a hiring manager that you were able to do that project. For all I know, like I said, you just copied what everybody else did. So come up with some projects that are a little bit unique to you, but still follow all of those guidelines of good projects. Unique projects can also be specific to the type of job that you're pursuing. Is there a specific industry you want to be in? You want to work for, a, for an airline, do some analysis of flight data or flight costs of capacity? Do you want to work in manufacturing, in tech? Maybe it's not so much industry as it is type of role. You want to work as an audit data analyst or a marketing data analyst. Come up with projects that relate to those. That's not to say that you need a new project for every unique area that you're pursuing, but if you in general know that you want to be a marketing data analyst, don't focus your efforts on projects that are unrelated to marketing. Build marketing related projects that are going to really connect with a hiring manager or or anyone that interviews you throughout the process for those roles. If you need help coming up with a good project,
project. You need someone to evaluate your project, to help you come up with the story you tell of your project. Reach out about one-on-one -on -one coaching. I'll put a link down in the video description. Thank you so much for watching.